if you feel stuck and like your desire is not manifesting no matter what you do, this is what you need to do. Keep watching. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach helping you to manifest your next level life and business. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Guys, if you have been stuck, if you have felt stuck, we are never actually stuck where we are. We're always moving. We're always um, manifesting. But a lot of the times we're stuck in a pattern and so we're manifesting the same results over and over so it feels like we're stuck. So if you feel stuck right now and what you want is not manifesting no matter what you do, like you have been doing things, you have been trying and nothing is working, here's what you need to do. Firstly, stop trying, which means stop struggling and stop feeling like you need to struggle in order to get what you want. You don't. It can happen through ease. It can happen because you just, you want it. You want it so you get it. So stop struggling, stop trying, and let go. Take some time off from manifesting, from doing, you know, maybe multiple processes, from killing yourself, taking action toward your goal, or, or uh, trying to implement multiple different strategies, just take a break let go and now what i want you to do is just put all of your energy and all of your focus on your inner transformation on how do i feel better how do i feel relief how do i feel like me how do i feel empowered how do i feel happy how do i feel more in love how do i feel more whole how do I feel more ease? How do I feel more clarity, more um, satisfaction? So putting all of your focus and attention on how do I feel more of what I want to feel and less on how do I fix the problems, right? So when you make your inner journey your priority, and it's the most important thing that you are focused, you are laser focused, but just on that one thing. Everything else will work out. Everything else will work out. But when you go back to trying and struggling and, and um, taking all these actions from misalignment and uh, trying to figure it out and trying to do this process and that process, and you, then you just start feeling completely overwhelmed and just a complete lack of clarity. Like, what the hell do I do now? Like, what am I missing? What's the answer? Take a break. Take a break and go get feeling better. Improve on your mood. Improve on your mood. Let go, improve on your mood. And make your inner journey more important. That's the only way you're going to get unstuck. And for me, that's the only way I've ever gotten unstuck when I feel like nothing was progressing or even when things were just getting worse and worse and worse. It's the only thing that ever works because the more you try to focus on the, the result, specifically you try to do processes, or you try to take action in your business and you're doing all these different things and your attention's all over the place, your vibration's all over the place, it's a mess. And so you're gonna get all these mixed results. You're gonna manifest all kinds of things that some that you like and a lot that you don't like and you've been neglecting what you need to focus on and that's your mood um that's you like loving you and who you are and finding like your unique um your unique power your unique superpower of like what makes you you what lights you up what brings you to life? That's what I feel like my work right now is really about, is just helping people come back to life and finding their you know, inner unique superpower and unlocking that, finding what's holding that back and fully unleashing that so that you can live into your biggest, fullest, um, dreams and vision but if you don't feel worthy you feel like you need to struggle 
because that's all you've known. Let me tell you something is if you feel stuck, if you feel stuck, things are not moving. Sometimes it's because you have like this um, subconscious programming, this subconscious program, this limiting belief um, or kind of like a, yeah, a limiting belief of like things don't work out for me. I never get what I want. Sometimes that's kind of like a victim mentality as well. It's like, oh, well, it can't happen for me or poor me kind of thing. Things don't work out for me. Things work out for them, but not for me. Or I always, you know, have this problem. Or I never find the solution. Things like that. Sometimes we become addicted to that story. That's not who you are, right? But it's what feels comfortable because it's what's normal to you, to you. It's what you've been practicing a lot of the time. And you need to be aware of that and you need to catch that in the moment that you, you go there to pull yourself back a little bit and to just kind of like soothe yourself and hug yourself and, and send love to yourself, even to that limited um, self, that limited mindset, that limited belief, that, um, that limited identity that you have created over time. Just loving it into a better place and loving yourself so that you can experience something new. Because if you, if you live off that old story, you can't progress. Letting go, letting go and stop trying, stop struggling, stop trying to force things to happen. That's that control. Like I don't feel powerful. I feel powerless, so I need to try and control because I don't trust that things can work out for me because I'm not worthy. I don't trust that the universe can handle this for me, right? Because who am I to just ask and, and receive what I want? You're a powerful creator. You are source energy. You are God, right? You can have anything. You are worthy. So um, letting go, letting go, letting go, focusing more on you, your inner journey, your happiness, your worthiness, all of that and catching yourself when you try to go to that limited story, that identity, that it, it feels normal, but it's not who you want to be. That's the only way you're going to get progress. And that's the only way I've ever gotten progress is just by letting go and saying, actually, instead of focusing on the problem and trying to fix it, for however long, I actually need to just take some time to be with me and focus on my happiness and do fun things and focus on relaxation and ease so that I am in a state where I can receive all of those things that I want and I'm not trying to get them. I'm just becoming an, a magnet uh, for effortless manifestation. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you my love if it did let me know by giving me a thumbs up and commenting down below make sure to share this as well subscribe if you haven't already check out my programs in the description box below and have a beautiful day okay sending much love to you